What is going on guys? It is Lauren and I'm back with another YouTube video. Now, I haven't done an answering sexual questions kind of video in a while. Now, I do do my like naughty truth or dares, but they're kind of like more... Not necessarily like really sexual questions, but they're kind of like naughty side questions. But I kind of mix in the dares as well. So, this is a video simply ask answering your most sexual questions that you have for me. Now we've got some good ones, I'm looking forward to this. Um, I don't think I've done one of these in like five months, which is kind of crazy. I'm on like a, a spinny chair and um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a weird one I like, I'd show you guys, but I'd have to move my camera so I'm not gonna show you. But yes, anyway guys, I hope you guys are all doing so good. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe, we're nearly on 500,000 subscribers! And I remember when I was like, oh my god, lion's mane. When I was like, oh my god, we're nearly on like 400,000, like nearly on 250,000. And now we're on nearly half a million subscribers, which is insane. Like, I'm so, so, so grateful for all of you guys. And, ah, I'm so happy. I'm so excited to finally hit 500k. If I hit it, obviously, like, anything could happen. I mean... I could die, you know, etc. But yes, I am so grateful for all of you guys. So yes. Before we get into the video, guys, I just want to say don't forget to go and check me out on my 18 plus OnlyFans. It will be in the pinned comment. I post on there all the time. I do giveaways. I've actually got a giveaway that is being finished tonight, believe it or not. So if you guys sign up quickly, you have the chance to win custom videos, etc, etc. Like one-on-one -on -one video calls, all that kind of stuff. So yes, if you want to sign up, and find content of me that you won't find anywhere else, then go and sign up to my OnlyFans. I do also have a Patreon, which is also 18 plus and NSFW. Um, so yeah, if you go into my comments or my description, you'll find those links and it's all 18 plus. So you have to be 18 plus to go onto the sites, unfortunately. So yes, please make sure you're 18 if you're gonna sign up. And yeah, yeah so you can get like my premium Snapchat, which I post on every day, etc, etc. I have some very good content coming, so you don't want to miss it. And let's get into the video. Someone said, have you ever twerked on an eggplant? And um, you see, sometimes when I answer these questions, I'm like, my mum will probably see this. But then other times I'm like, I've literally spoken to my mum about all of this stuff before. Yes, I have twerked on a dick. I have. Yeah. Why not? Why not? I have the facilities for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> That sounds really bad, but yes, I have. Um, I don't know if I'd say it's like my favorite thing to do, but it's definitely something I've done a few times before and it's not something I'd shy away from. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I have. <laughs> Would you rather keep your tits the same or your ass the same? The other one has to get smaller. So I'd rather keep my ass the same because, I mean, like, I have tits, but I don't have, like, the biggest tits. So I think, like, losing some of it wouldn't really make much of a difference. However, I would hate it if my ass was smaller. Like, I love my ass so much. Someone said, what inspired you to do ASMR? Now, if you guys haven't already seen, I haven't actually promoted it on this channel. However, I do have an ASMR channel, which I've posted on a few times. Um, I'm posting another video on there tomorrow. But if you guys have any ASMR requests, etc., then you can go into... The description and follow me on my ASMR channel. Um, I'm going to be posting every Wednesday and every Friday. So, uh, no, every Wednesday and every Sunday, sorry. So look out for that. And yeah, I'm going to, I've got a few more mics coming. So it's going to get better and better. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting into it, you know. I've, it's something that I enjoy doing, you know. Like I find it really relaxing. So I just thought, you know, you guys request it so much. And I've done it a few times on this channel. I thought I may as well just dedicate a channel specifically to that. And just put more effort into it. So yeah, <laughs> someone said, when did I lose my virginity? I lost my virginity when I was like 15, 16, so yeah. Someone said, how many celebs are in your DMs right now? Um, I wouldn't say, like, I've got a few well-known celebrities who DM me and stuff like that. However, I wouldn't say there's anyone very well-known. Well, like, there is. And I've been DM'd before, and like, big celebrities have slid into my DMs before. However, at the moment, like, my DMs are like, ooh, like... It's a bit of a sticky one still, like, it's, uh, it's not something that I can necessarily discuss because, um, it's a bit dodgy. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, you gotta keep the secrets secret. Someone said, what piercings do I have? I have a belly piercing and I have my ears pierced, however, I'm not wearing any earrings. So yeah, um, I did actually consider getting my nipples pierced, however, 
I, I don't know if I want to do that anymore. It looks really painful and I don't know if I could stand the pain of that. Like, I definitely cry like so many times. I'd literally like bore my eyes out. That would be so horrible. But like, I don't think it'd be, you know, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I think, I don't know. Gatorade. I wish in the UK we had the big Gatorade bottles, but I, I've never seen them here. But in America, like the big ones you can get in like 7-Eleven, I love them. Gatorade is so good. But I only like this one. The blue one. It's the only flavour that I like. Um, but yeah, I think it's, is it like blue raspberry or something? Cool blue. Which I'm pretty sure is like a raspberry. Raspberry, yeah. If anyone wants to send me loads of Gatorade, go ahead. I will be happy with that. Someone said, have you got on your knees before? Bro, I've been getting on my knees since I was like 15. Yes, I have. How did you lose your V-card? Like, was it at a party? Now, it's actually a funny story. It was at a party, but it was a party that me and my friend threw, so it was like our party. And it wasn't like a proper party with like a hundreds, like hundreds of people. It was a party with like close friends, if you know what I mean. So it was like, a few guys, a few girls, like me and my friend in our girl group and then the guy group that we were like associated with and then a few odd individuals. But yeah, it was mainly just people we were close with. So I guess it was kind of like a gathering. Um, but yeah, I was very drunk. And yeah, I don't condone doing that. Don't do it, okay? Like I didn't regret it, but I know lots of people who have lost their virginity when they're drunk and then they wake up and they're like, oh my God, I didn't want to do that. Like. I was seeing the person anyway, so it was like, I didn't regret it or anything, but I've had people before who have actually said they've regretted doing it when they were drunk because one, they didn't remember it. And two, just in general, like they didn't necessarily want to do it. And when they were drunk, they thought they wanted to do it. And then they were like, oh my God, what have I done? But no, I was, I was, you know, I was just like, fuck it, let's go. And then, but yeah, no, it, it was, it was a good time. I didn't regret it at all. So yeah, I think when you lose your virginity, if you haven't lost your virginity yet, by the way, make sure it's with someone that you kind of trust, you know? Like, it's just not something that, not necessarily like you want to throw away. It's just something that you don't want to regret because it only happens once and you don't want to regret that, you know? It's me giving big sister advice to all of you guys. Even though I'm like an internet whore, I still am okay at giving advice sometimes. So yeah. Take my advice, and if you need my advice, ask me, and I'll give you my advice. Someone said, why do you do OnlyFans? Um, I've always, always been confident in my own body, so I think that's the reason I started it. Um, I didn't start OnlyFans until um, a few months ago, but I've always had a patron since, I think, like, 2017. So yeah, pretty much when I turned 18, I was just like, you know what, I'm confident with my body, and I just started doing it. Um, it wasn't too big when I did start, but yeah. Someone said, how big is your fake tits? And I have not had a boob job. Um, I did consider having one before, but these are my natural boobs and this is my natural bum. So yeah, I have not had any work done at all. Um, the only thing that I'm currently having done is I have Invisalign and that's it. That's the only thing. So I'm having my teeth changed, but that is the only thing. I've never had anything else. I mean, I've had my eyelashes done but I've never had anything like fake go into my body or any silicone or plastic or anything like that. I'm completely natural and this is my natural vigor. It's just working out, eating good, that kind of stuff. Even though I don't really eat good at the moment. But yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> Someone said, what's the biggest dick you've had? And probably like nine inches or so. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> Someone said, what is your favorite body feature? Now, I used to really like my nose, but it got to the point where I liked my nose so much that I don't like my nose anymore. However, I've always liked my bum ever since I was like 14, 15. I've like, you know what? I have a good bum and I will embrace the fact that I have a nice bum. But yeah, so my bum is probably my favorite body feature. So yeah, I'm just like, you know, I love my bum. Do, do, do. I've always liked it though. Like it's always been a, a favourite for me. Peachy Alexis. <laughs> no, I have actually always liked my bum. That's the honest truth. Someone said, would you ever have drunk sex? I've had a lot of drunk sex, but I mean, 
drunk sex, normal sex, it's kind of, it's all the same thing, you know, like there's still like a penis entering a vagina, or I mean obviously if it's like boy and boy, girl on girl, etc. That's obviously a little bit different. However, it's whether you're drunk or whether you're not drunk, it's still sex, you know, it's still sex. It's just like, you could get drunk with someone and have sex with them, or you could just be sober and have sex with them. I mean, if you're drunk, you'd probably be open to doing more, but yeah, no, I've had loads of drunk sex. That is the, that is the question answered. Someone said, how good are you at giving head? Okay, so I can deep throat. And I don't really gag, like a few weeks ago before I went to Cyprus I had to have a Covid test and me and my manager were getting the test done and the guy did the test on him and my manager was like gagging. And then he did it on me and I didn't gag and he goes, yeah, you're good at this. And I was like, oh my god, I've just been violated. I was like, oh my god, and my manager just started laughing. And I was like, has this guy really just said that to me? It was so funny though. And I was like, oh my god. But yeah, when I first ever gave head, I think I was 15. This is really open, this. Um, and then after I finished the guy was like you've definitely done this before and I was like no I haven't and he was like yeah you have and I was like no I haven't and he got annoyed because he thought I'd done it before and I was like meant to be like seeing him or whatever and I was just like no I haven't and yeah so um, I'd say I'm not too bad I've never had a comment saying I'm bad and I've had comments saying I'm good so I'm gonna say I'm fairly good yeah I might be like big headed but I think I'm fairly good like I've I don't know I'd say I have a fair bit of experience with it. Some girls don't even suck dick. Like when I was in school, I had a friendship group of like five or six girls and only me and one of the other girls sucked dick. No one else would. Then they'd like eat food off the floor. Bro, crazy stuff, crazy. <laughs> Someone said come to America and do a meet up, nothing, nothing creepy, I swear. Now, um, I will do that eventually. Um, however, COVID is very, very bad in America. I am high risk, I am not allowed to travel there, so um, it's gonna be a hot minute until anything like that ever happens, I am afraid. But I would really like to do that. I wanted to do it in Amsterdam as well, but obviously COVID is like really annoying. Someone said, what's it like being a woman? And obviously women get like periods, we get cramps and stuff, but guys go through their fair share of pain. So obviously I don't know what it's like being a guy, but being a girl, I think there's more beauty standards. Um, like for example, I have to get my eyebrows done. I have to like I feel like I have to get my nails done that kind of stuff Whereas guys don't really have to focus on that, but I think There's more pressure on I don't know. I, I don't know whether I'd say like oh I don't know, you know being a girl is stressful But I'm sure being a guy is stressful as well like guys have to deal with more than girls do for example I'm trying to think of like an example like girls have to have children for example but men i feel like men sometimes i don't know you know being a woman is stressful and i'm glad i'm a woman because i enjoy being a woman you know i enjoy getting my hair done i enjoy getting my eyebrows done and getting my nails done i enjoy the pain of having like my vagina wax like that kind of stuff but i don't know it'd be cool to like experience being a guy for like a week or so but yeah i don't mind being a woman it's not too bad <laughs> I said, is there a discount for me for the sugar daddy tier OnlyFans? I don't have a sugar daddy tier on OnlyFans. However, because I have posted a video today, there is a big discount on my OnlyFans. So go and check it out in the comments to get a discount. Remember guys, it's a very, very limited. So yeah, there will be a discount. Maybe I'll extend it for a few days, but it'll probably be only today and tomorrow. So get it while you can before the price goes up to normal price. <laughs> Someone said, I don't know no one who wouldn't simp for you. Um... I am a, such a simp for so many people, so I simp for you too. Someone said, what colour is your dildo? Um, I have a few. Someone said, deep throat a banana. That will be in my next Truth or Dare video, which will be in two videos time. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss it. Woo! Anyway, guys, that is the end of that video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my others. Also, guys, don't forget to comment down below. Um, if you comment down below, you get entered into my giveaway and someone at the end of every video wins some cash from me. So, yes, last week's video winner is doo -doo 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 -doo, Louis PD. And he commented saying, these videos are banging for no particular reason, though. Haha, <laughs> haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. Anyway, guys, don't forget to hit subscribe and don't forget to go and check me out on my OnlyFans and my Patreon. I have a discount on my OnlyFans. It is cheap now, so go and subscribe whilst it is. And yes, I'm currently doing a giveaway on there. I will extend it for two more days. So if you guys want to join, all you have to do is subscribe 
to my OnlyFans and read the posts and see what it says to do on there. Um, pretty much all you have to do is just like my posts and then yeah, so just be subscribed and basically you can win custom content, one-on-one -on -one calls, like my phone number, that kind of stuff. So yes, I will extend that specifically for you guys. There is a discount in the pinned comments right now, so don't forget to go and check that out. And I will see you so soon for another video. I love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah. I swear I don't do that. I'm like, love you guys, but I'm just like, how? oh shit. How do I usually end my videos? Anyway, guys, I will see you soon for another video. Bye. That's what I do. Right. Bye. <laughs>